So the number one question we get asked on our e-propulsion electric outboard motors is what shaft size do I need? And it's a little bit confusing right off the bat because the measurements and the uh, name of the shaft of the motor don't quite line up to your typical um, short shaft, long shaft that you find on your gas outboard. So the way the measurements work is you have the extra short, the short, and the long shaft in e-propulsion. And the way I like to explain it is in comparison to a gas outboard, you pretty much work yourself one step back from a gas outboard equivalent. So an extra short shaft in an e-propulsion actually ends up being a short shaft um, in a gas outboard um, for roughly a 15 inch transom and then you go up to a 20 inch transom that um, requires a long shaft gas outboard you take one step back from that that equals about a short shaft e-propulsion and then your extra long shaft outboard uh, gas motor for like a sailboat um, you know those 25 inch transoms as well um, those big long kicker motors those you're roughly looking at a long shaft e-propulsion motor so Taking that into effect, we're going to do a little bit of measuring here on the different transoms to see exactly how to dial that in um, and you know, uncover a couple facts here about the transom heights to measure out exactly what we need. So looking at roughly a little bit under 15 and a half inches. Okay, that's going to call for an extra short shaft electric uh, outboard here, the heat propulsion Spirit 1.0. At your prop clears the bottom of the boat. So if we're going to do this here, laid up against here, that prop is actually clears right below the bottom of the boat. So the key zone you want to be able to make this measurement on is that this top of the prop is about even with the bottom of the boat or, you know, down a couple of inches. Anywhere in this two inch zone below the bottom of the boat is where ideally you want the top of that prop to be to be able to grab enough water but also not be too deep in the water or be too shallow and you get too much air and cavitation and you don't get the maximum amount of thrust um, that you would out of this prop. So, yeah. so moving up to boats with roughly 20 inch transoms um, like your low or your trackers typically have a 20 inch transom which equates to a long shaft gas outboard. Right under 20 inches. That's going to require a short shaft e-propulsion electric outboard. And then we're going to move up to the larger boats. Honestly, you probably don't have any um, here that are up in that 25 range. But if you're at 21, 20.7 20 and, and taller, you're going to want to move to that long shaft. Yeah, this equates to about 22 and a half inches. And that's going to require the long, or the, uh, long shaft e-propulsion electric outboard. Um, anything over 20.7 inches is going to call for that long shaft. Uh, if you're right in the middle of those measurements, say you're right at 20.5 or 20.7, you probably um, will get away with a short shaft. However, if you're more on that 21 and a half um, or taller, you definitely want to go with the long shaft. It's better to go a little bit longer than it is to go too short because then you're going to end up with cavitation unless you have an engine uh, mounting plate like a small little jack plate or a uh, kicker motor jack that you can adjust that motor in the water. And so we're also coming out with our own motor mount kit for e-propulsion to be able to raise or lower your electric outboard by a couple inches in either direction to help accommodate your specific boat setup.